All right, this is a little ditty about combining like terms and simplifying expressions. First of all, let's get some vocab down, get the lingo going. When we say combine like terms, that really means, I'll use red here, combine, right? Put together. Like means same, and terms, things, okay? So if you don't know what combine like terms means, it's the same as saying put together the same things. For example, if I have some little red triangles, and I have some uh, arrows, and a pile of post-it notes, and I say combine like terms, I'd say, oh, I have uh, four blue arrows, so I put them together, and I have three red triangles, put them together, and I still have a pack of post-it notes. That's it. Combine like terms. Put the same things together doesn't mean we have to solve it and have an answer like that equals 17 doesn't matter sometimes the answer itself is uh, long and complicated looking but when you know when to stop then stop and that's when you've put all the same things together now like we've been working on in class we've got uh, single variable expressions including uh, x squared x's and ones and you might remember zoom out a little bit here. This is x squared. This is x. This is 1. Those are the manipulatives or the tools we've been using in class. And we learned that uh, blue side is x and the red side is the opposite of x. So here's a problem. And I'm going to teach this one to you and then I'll give you some examples to do. Okay? And you can jump in depending on what your level of understanding is. If this is your first chance at doing this, might want to uh, draw the pictures or use the uh, use the tools we have here. So, for example, I've got uh, two x squares, which means I have two blue big x's. I've got two long skinny x's, right? And I've got one little one. That's what's called one. I better zoom back in a little bit here. Okay. Then over here, I've got an x square. I've got four of these guys, which I'm just going to make a block of them. One, two, three, four. And I've got five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, combine like terms means I'm going to put all these together, put all the x squares together, I'm going to put all the x's together, I'm going to a little group of four, and I'm going to put all the little ones together. There's the one, one, two, three, four, five. So here I have three of those, three of x squared. Remember the word of means multiply, so that's why we write it in this order. I have uh, six of these, six of x, or six times x, which we write simply as six x. Here's the word and. And I also have 6 of 1, which means 6 times 1, or we could just write 6. So my answer here is 3x squared plus 6x plus 6. That is combining like terms. All right. Take a shot at this first problem here. 3x squared minus x plus 2, and 
4x squared plus 3x minus 1. Go ahead and pause the video, do what you can with that, and then I'll work the answer out. Okay, let's check this out. I've got 3x squares. I've got 1 negative x. Remember, we, we're using the colors red to indicate negative. Blue is positive. Okay. And I've got two ones, two positive ones. I have four more of these guys. I've got three positive ones of these. And I've got a negative one, or a red one, right? Okay, let's combine like terms. Okay, so I'm going to put all of these, all the x squares together. I'm going to put all the x's together including the negative ones, or the negative one. And there was three positive ones right there. Then I have two positive ones and one negative one. Okay, so there I combined like terms, or I put all the same looking things together. And now we're gonna simplify. Simplify means we're going to find all the opposites which are going to equal zero and then what's left is the answer. So when it comes to the x squares what do I have? Seven of them, right? They're all positive so there's no zeros there, I just count them. There's seven of them. Over here with the x's, I have a zero pair here, right? I have those opposites. What do I have left? 2x. And then over here with the ones, I have some opposites there or a zero pair. What's left? One. So I want to round all these things up and put them together, which I'll do right over here. 7x squared plus 2x plus 1 is the simplified answer to that problem. Zoom out so you can see the whole thing. Okay, I just drew the things, making sure that opposites were red. Okay, negatives are red. Then I put the same things together, put same things together, which just makes it easier to organize and see where the zeros are. And then finally, get rid of the zeros and count up what's left and put them in order of power, which simply means x squareds go first, then the x's, then the numbers. Okay? Let's do the next one. I'll move this a little faster. We don't like videos to be this long. <clears throat> Copy this one down. Copy them both down actually, and then just pause the video, and let's do this, okay, go. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Instead of drawing all the squares and rectangles, I'm just going to use the colors to represent positives and negatives. So I've got 3x squared, put same things together. There's an x squared. Right, so I put all the x squareds together. I don't have any x's over here, right? There's nothing there, no big deal. Over here, I've got a negative 2x. And notice how I'm putting them in order of power at the same time that I'm putting same things together or combining like terms. 
order of power, combine like terms. If you combine them in that order, then it's easier when you simplify and come up with the answer. You don't have to rearrange anything. And then finally, over here I have a 4, and over here I have a 3. There, so I put all same things together. Now I'm going to simplify, which means I'm looking for any zeros that might be there, and then counting what's left. With the x squareds, there are no zeros, right? They're both positive values. They're both blue. So we're going to call that 4x squared. With the uh, negative 2x, I don't have any positive x's to oppose that or to be opposite of that. So that is what it is. And then finally, my blues, I have seven ones, so I just put them together. That's that. There were no zeros in this particular problem, so the answer is just 4x squared minus 2x plus 7. Okay? And then finally, let's look at the last one. This one's a little different. We've got 7x squared. Now check this out. Okay? This negative sign means opposite of opposite of all those things in there is really what a negative sign outside parentheses means. It's like having a negative one and then using the distributive property to multiply negative one by everything that's inside the parentheses. Okay? So really think, don't think of it as negative, but think of it as it's giving opposite value to everything in there just like multiplying by negative 1. Okay? So if we keep that in mind, this problem is going to change right before our eyes. Okay? So we're still going to have this over here. And then, and I want the opposite of 3x squared, which is negative 3x squared. I want the opposite of negative 4x, which is positive 4x. And I want the opposite of positive 7, which is negative 7. <clears throat> okay. So now I'm going to underline all my positives in blue. I'm going to underline all my negatives in red. Now I'm going to combine like terms. Put all the x squareds together. 7x squared minus 3x squared. Then there's a minus 2x and a positive 4x. And there's a positive 3 in negative 7. So I've got three terms here. There's a term, term, term. It means three different types of things like apples, oranges, and bananas. Okay? I can put them all together but I, unless I have a Vitamix blender I can't put them all together if you know what I mean. Okay, so three of these blue X's are going to get canceled out and that's what's going to leave me with four x squared. Two of these positives are going to have opposites, which leaves me with two positives. And three of these negatives have opposites, which leaves me with four negatives. So now we go to one color to write the answer. I've got 4x squared plus 2x minus 4 is it. All right. That does it for this time. Look for more exciting videos about combining like terms, simplifying, and not too far in the future, we will substitute and find solutions to problems like this. But for now, you need to know how to combine like terms and simplify. See you next time.